looking to build wrists that are strong and mobile. Well, you came to the right place. I made a workout for you to follow. It's going to bulletproof your wrists so that you can do stuff like this. Wrist conditioning is often neglected until an injury occurs. I don't like seeing people getting injured. That's why I want your wrists to be strong and healthy so you can continue doing your sport like a badass. Let's get those wrists nice and limber. We'll start with some wrist circles. Bring your palms together, interlace your fingers, and make those hands wrestle. Repeat in the other direction. Next, down dog. Enter from a high push-up position and focus on opening the chest and shoulders. Press your hands firmly into the ground. We'll finish up with crab. Elevate the hips until your thighs and torso are parallel to the floor. Slowly shift your weight around to open the shoulders and stretch the wrists. This workout will be done in tabletop position. Stack your wrists under the shoulders and knees under the hips. Place your hands shoulder width apart and knees hip distance apart. Keep your back flat and neck neutral. Starting off, our first exercise is forward rocks. With fingers facing forward, Externally rotate your arms so that the pits of your elbows are facing forward. From this position, gently rock ahead of your fingers. Only go as far as you're comfortable. Do this for 8 reps. Now, rock forward in a semicircle. Start on one side, arc towards the middle, and end on the other side. Do this also for 8 reps. Next, we move on to Backward Rocks. Turn your hands so that your fingers are pointing backwards. From this position, we will gently rock backwards towards our heels. Do this for 8 repetitions, then do another 8 semicircles. Forward and Backward Rocks focus on improving wrist extension. Our third exercise is flexion cat cow. In tabletop position, flip your hands so that the palms are facing up and fingers are facing backwards. Slowly straighten out your arms and ease your weight into your wrists. From here, we'll do five rounds of cat cow. Starting with cat, round the back. Tuck in your tailbone and push the floor away. Exhale. Transitioning into cow, drop the belly down as the back arches. Retract the scapula to open the chest and lift your gaze upward. Inhale. Continue cat-cow for four more rounds, timing your breath with each movement. As you can guess by the name, this exercise focuses on improving wrist flexion. The cat-cow is an added bonus of spine articulation and variants of wrist pressure. Two birds, one stone, and you got to move your little heart out. Exercise number four, palm lifts. From tabletop position, Lift your palms off the floor in quick, consecutive bursts. Focus on lifting the thumbs with each rep and stacking your weight over the wrists. Perform 20 reps and relish the burn. Our fifth exercise, open the fist. 
flip your hands over so that your palms are facing up and fingers are facing each other. Keep your arms straight and weight stacked over the wrists. From here, close your left hand into a fist, then your right hand. Your weight is now stacked over the knuckles of your fists. Next, open the left hand with palm facing up, then your right hand. Weight is now stacked over your wrists again. Do this for four reps, maintaining the rhythm of fist, fist, open, open. After four reps, alternate the starting side and repeat for another four reps. This is a dynamic form of wrist flexion. Make sure to maintain an even and central pressure. Avoid leaning towards one side. Our last exercise is fist rocks. Starting from tabletop position with fists down, slowly rock forward so that your back knuckles leave the ground. Then rock backward until your front knuckles leave the ground. Repeat this for eight reps. If you want additional pressure, perform this in a push-up position. Fist rocks target ulnar and radial flexion, the final movement in our wrist workout. Bonus exercise. Wrist push-ups. I promise you strong wrists. Let's get at it. Start in a push-up position and flip over one hand so that the palm is up and fingers are facing the other hand. See if you can hold this comfortably. If your wrist is giving you the green light, and then move on to doing push-ups from here. Work up to five, then flip the hands and do them on the alternate side. The next step is holding a push-up position on both wrists. Make sure you start in tabletop. Flip the wrist first and slowly step your feet back to test the waters. If you can hold this comfortably, then you're ready to do some wrist push-ups. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, move better, climb harder.